Oh, don't you worry. I always make sure I'm going to be wearing protection. It's very important to me. Especially when I'm going to a party. Especially when it's shitty as this one. Oh, boy. Fuck you guys. I see all of you looking at me funny. I don't like it. Oh, we go fuck off. Every single last one of you. Especially you. Hey, what the fuck did I do? I just want to party with you. Fuck off. All right, fine. Be that way. I'm out of here. Sweet. All right, so anyway, welcome, everybody. This is your host, the MJ406. And, well, if you can't tell by my reaction, we are jumping into... Doesn't matter which me it is, I don't have one. One of my least favorite Mario Parties for another single-player Rob Mario Party 8. Oh, God, it's horrifying. Especially with... Ah! What the hell is that thing? I don't like it. Get that host away from me. What the hell are you? What's our main attraction? You, of course. Get ready to party like never before. We've got it all. Mini games to make you move. Boards that make your party groove. So come on, come all. What fun we'll have. Classes, crosses, brawls, falls. Oh my god, there's going to be a fight? A mob? Who am I, you ask? I'm your master of catastrophe! Oh no. MC Ballyhoo at your service! And I'll run this show solo! Two heads are better than one! Meet my friend, Big Top! Who the hell's Big Top? Oh god! Hello, Ola. Aloha. Ahoy. Oh god, your hat! It's alive! Get it away from me! Yes, yes! A warm welcome to all! We're here to make sure that you have a great time! We've got five ways for you to play at the Star Carnival! Pick the party spot you want! So, go run wild! Have fun! Yay! Oh, no. So, yay! Welcome to Mario Party 8. We got party tap for the main party stuff. Extra zones, there's some extra little goodies. Mini game tap for your little mini game goodness. And for Bizarre, we can trade in cards for prizes. Whatever the heck that means. But, like typical of my channel, it comes to Mario Party. I focus on the single player modes. Star Battle Arena. Battle your way to the top. Single player! I like how they have to, like, boldly mention that. So, yep, it's another single player Mario Party romp. And, well, if you didn't hear me earlier, yeah, I hate this Mario Party, so it's probably not going to be fun for me. Oh! These two are blacked out. Come on! They must have been late to the party. Sucks to be them. So, who's my victim this time? I, I wonder. Mario was three. Peach was DS. Yoshi was five. Daisy was four. Roberto was seven. Still regret using you. <laughs> you ugly thing. Well, maybe I should let it be. Uh... No! Not you! Damn it! I meant Luigi! Why the hell not? I feel like he could use some time to shine, and I'm gonna give him the worst party to do it. Oh boy, I'll talk about why I hate this Mario party once we get started, but for now, welcome to the Star Battle! The very heart of the carnival! Bop, bopity bop! What a pulse! The star battle is the main event! Here we find out who's the true superstar of the carnival! Are you our ultimate celebrity? Find out by waging a crazy battle against rivals on five boards! So who's it gonna be? Who dares to outparty everyone else? Bring in our challenger, Luigi! That's right! I will be the ultimate party goer! That's all you wanted this for? Rising up to the challenge of your rivals, Luigi! You must really want that title! Yeah. That's how I got something for a change! And who wouldn't? The Superstar gets a super prize! A year's worth of candy! Really? This is all for a bunch of candy? Oh my god! I oh, could probably eat that a month! Oh no! You can have one year's supply of candy as a prize! What if I eat it fast? Hey, shut up! Let's get to our first fight! Who's gonna butt heads first? Our first star special is... Luigi versus Peach! Oh, come on! A difficult opponent like that? She's pure evil! Sucks to be you, then! Show us your moves, Luigi! It's a long way to the top! But you gotta start somewhere! I thought you were gonna say rock and roll. It's copyright, can't do that. Ready to go? I wanna hear everyone say it! Get ready to... Star Battle! Star Battle! Not you! Not you! Everyone else! Damn it. By the way, I'll just say one thing right off the bat. You notice how the screen size went down to a 4x3? 
widescreen setting instead of a 16 by 9 It's like the widescreen setting didn't even matter. They have it for like the whole carnival map and the title screen. But once you get to the actual game, oh no no, reduced to 4-3. So it makes me think this game was originally being made for the GameCube in mind, but kinda had to slap it onto the Wii the last in the last few months. Hungry Piranha Plants, Deep Root Secrets, Paths to Branch Off to Danger! You'll tangle with all that and more in DK's Treetop Temple! Want to hear a few secrets about this board? So yeah, about the Star Battle Arena, I should just mention, it's very similar to Mario Party 7's Solo Cruise, so a lot of the way it works is extremely similar. In Treetop Temple, you must collect two stars first to win! So yeah, just got an objective and beat your one opponent to get to it. To get a star, reach a star space with 20 coins. The next star will then pop up somewhere else. I would know that standard Mario Party. <clears throat> this competition will be cutthroat. Now pre be prepared to do anything to win. Now go get your two stars. I want to see you bleeding with some slit throats. Wait, literally? Literally cutthroat? Yes. Now let's hit the dice box, see who goes first. Punch it. It's decided! Wow, did I really have to punch it? Yes, it makes it more fun! Peach is first, and Luigi is second! Oh, come on! Lady's first, after all, even if she is weird. Here's a gift to get you going! Make the most of these ten coins! Alright, money! As always, up to the race to the star space! Where can it be? I'm crazed in anticipation! We saw it earlier, it's over there. Ooh, sparkly, so bright, the first star. Get there at 20 coins. Please make your hat stop talking. Our first match begins! Oh no. If I beat her, I'm probably gonna get evicted from the kingdom again. Yeah, right. Oh god. Well, here we go. Mario Party 8. Oh, welcome. This Mario Party sucks, if you ask me. I freaking hate this one. And one thing you do is right away. Force motion controls! I can't even hit A to hit the block anymore! I have to use motion controls to be able to punch it. Because that's always fun. Oh man! I didn't want this right away. Ah! No, don't steal me, you stupid monkey! Put me down! Hey, I think you can bring my game to come here and fun! Great fussy fast track! DK will hurl you to a star space! Today is your lucky day! Not if I can't afford it! Help! So yeah, with DK spaces, I can help you with certain board events. Luigi reached a star. Victory is within reach. Oh, so close yet so far. You don't have enough cash. You need 20 coins. Oh, well. One more moment, please. Treachery is afoot. DK spaces are now Bowser spaces. So yeah, the way these spaces work now, land on a DK space somewhere, something good will happen, and then a Bowser space appears. And well, vice versa. Play on Bowser's face, something bad happens, and they become DK spaces. So, yeah, there you go. And they more to do board events than actual, like, you know, like, events in the game. Like, there's no mini games, there's no, you know. Oh, right, I should probably change some settings before I forget about it. Yeah, it's more about the boards this time around. Let me increase the message speed, because the last thing I need is this game being slow on me. Alright, let's go. Okay, I can't read the messages. And yep, we got versus phases just like before. Time to put your coins where your mouth is. It's time for a dual minigame. Now let's start the minigame wheel. So yep, dual minigames. You have versus phases all throughout the board. At least the, the minigame wheel shows like a bunch of them. So it's hard for you to tell what you're going to get. And we're going to start here with Eye Brawl. Oh, great. Now it shows a bull crap. Let's go with Eye Brawl. Make Mr. Eye dizzy. Spin the targeting cursor around him as fast as you can. Big, accurate moves get Mr. I dizzy in a hurry. So, yep. Motion controls are one big reason why I'm not a big fan of this Mario Party. They feel very shoehorned in. Like a lot of early Wii titles. Because this game came out less than a year after the Wii released. So, you know. When it comes to Waggle Fest minigames, nothing does it like shovelware. Why did this game have to be like shovelware? Oh, God. Why are there a bunch of eyes in the forest? That's just weird. So, yeah. You just gotta make sure your pointer's accurate, so you know, make sure your Wii Remote sensitivity's good and all that. If you don't, well then, yeah. It's not gonna go well for you. Wow, good job there, Peach. I'm still alive, you know. Yeah. Yes! Good, I got the ice away from me! Look, victim. Oh no, get away from me! Oh, look at that, a feast for the eyes. 
Look up that dress. Look up. Oh my god, what is that? Ah! I thought it was the other princess. Shit! Oh, it's terrifying. Well, winning that last minigame, Luigi gets to spin the dog's wheel. So, yep. Just like before, when a minigame, you get a chance to uh, take down your opponents. But it's not randomized this time. It's you can choose. That's how stupid this is. Oh, but first, is your wrist wrap on tight? Make sure it is. I'm going to tell you this every fucking time. Oh, no. I feel like that's going to get annoying. So, yep. Yeah, hold A or B and then flick the Wii remote to throw. Ah! Looks like I get the timing down. Eh, I still got most of them, though. It is decided! Peach must give five coins to Luigi! I'm sure with what kind of upgrade she has, she has plenty to spare. Yes, she's a princess. I'm sure she has plenty of money to spare, I'm sure. And yeah, the items are back to being standard items like Mario Party's 1 through 4. So we don't have, you know, items to throw into spaces anymore. Although, that was mostly five, although six or seven kind of did a blend of both. But you can't throw anything on spaces anymore. They got rid of those. Behold the DK Battle Cannon! Pay five coins to soar! I don't need to go soaring, because I know where those cans can take me. I don't want to go to any of those spots. Fuck you, then! Come on, dude. I'm just trying to have some fun here. If only I could drink alcohol. No alcohol my party! Damn it. That figures. He would. So you have items you use on yourself. For everything. Yeah, the, the, I have a lot of reasons for not liking this Mario Party, if you're curious. I mean, I don't really like most of the boards. Jeez. Okay, good. She got a one. Thank goodness. I don't like a lot of the mini games because the Force Waggle Fest, a lot of them are, are, well, they're irritating. So, there's that. And, well, Peach is within reach. Oh, not close enough. There's just not enough to really, you know really make me appreciate this one. You will get five. Screw you, your coin block lock. It's the Waggle Fest mini games. It's, well, the boards aren't really very exciting to me either. Like, there's only like two boards I really like in this game. This isn't one of them, but you know, it's a standard board, so this automatically makes it one of the best boards of the game. Ooh, let me see if I can do this. Wiggly Candy. What does that do? Yeah, pick up it. Take one candy from every player you pass. Don't mind if I do. It's Ouija time. It's Weekly time. Oh, it's Weekly time. That works for me. Maybe we're mini. Oh, no. That is weird. Oh, 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 oh. That figures. Come on, give me a good roll, damn it. You and your RNG rolls. Mostly randomly determined. Yeah. They're somewhat predetermined. Oh, come on. I forgot. Cast out candy. That's a fun one. You use it. You get to take away half your opponent's coins. Wait, what's happening? Ow! Did you just drop on me like a bolt of lightning? You shocked half the coins of your targets. They're destroyed. Well, at least the opponent doesn't get them. You just get rid of half their coins. Like a bitch. But yeah, basically the biggest reason I had to stand off for this Mario Party, it doesn't really innovate anything. Like... It's so by the numbers. Oh, no. I did not mean to land on that. Hey, fuckers. I'm always part of the best Mario parties. Whoa. You call this a party? Bowser's here to shake things up. Okay, dimwits. Now try to shine. Beauty Luigi never knows what's going on. So I'll make life crazier by moving the star. No. I was so close to it. Whoa. Now, I don't even know where the star is. Good luck, suckers. You're going to need it. Oh, we stole the board, at least. Oh, shit. I got to put it back on the board. Oh, crap. Let me go find that thing. Oh. Unholy moly. Bowser's moved the star. Where all this great green earth could it be? It's not too far away. Here's the star. Be the first to reach your 20 coins in your pocket, and it can be yours. And yours alone. But wait. There's more. All of the Bowser spaces have turned into TK spaces. Huzzah! So, yep, there you go. So, Bow so Bowser will swap the star space, and DK will throw you right at the star. So, hopefully, you don't land on DK space unless you have the coins. Ha ha ha! That's what you get, bitch! Oh, wait. Ah! No, you're gonna make this take longer! Why would you do this to me? Oh, boy. So, hey, is this party a hoot? 
Oh, great! <laughs> One coin for nothing! It's time with your coins where your mouth is! Get ready to pony up for a dual mini game! Wait, but look! Peach doesn't have any coins! There's nothing to take, so we have to call up the dual mini game! Now that's a darn shame! I was hoping for a battle to the death! It's either money or your life. Give money or your life. God damn. Frickin' Zelda. Challenge minigame for Peach! Time for you to get a lot of money! Give it your best shot! Spin that challenge minigame wheel! So, yep, this Star Battle Arena also has these exclamation point spaces. They're normally lucky spaces, which give you fortunes in the main party event. But this mode, they give you one player minigames to try to win. They even brought back the one player minigames in Mario Party 1. Jeez. But yep, the objective of this one, I think, is you have to properly stamp 20 of these pieces of paper before time runs out. You have to get 20 points. And well, let's just say, if you stamp Bowser, you lose two points. So you know, you gotta sip through the ones that aren't Bowser and try to get a lot of points on. You're getting rid of empty sheets of paper! At least stamp all of them while you go, you dumb bitch. So stupid. Well, good job there. Oh no, I thought I knew how to stamp things with royal decrees. Nope, not quite, bitch. Not quite. Whoa. Too bad, you failed the challenge. So no dart throw for you, Peach. Take your challenge another time. How dare you. Good thing he doesn't live in our kingdom, or he would probably get smited by now. Smited? What, do you think Peach controls God? Probably, I don't wanna fuck with that. I'd be afraid of what power she might have. Oh, I need more money, damn it! But yep, this is the this is basically a very by the numbers Mario Party. I know people said seven was, but no special moves at least made it interesting. Like this one just changed nothing. Gotta make a sweet trade for that to make a pass. Ooh, Springo candy. Give me think of a sweet deal. Here's money. Twenty coins. What the hell? Wow. Screw you. She's got a bunch of cash for losing her only freaking candy! But yeah. Oh, slow go, come on. Well, at least I can determine mostly what I roll with that. Or I can get rid of it for cash! All right! Perfect timing. You gotta make a sweet train to pass through here. Let me smear that from you. No, no! Ow, my ass! Why did I keep that candy in my ass? I wish I had pockets of these things. Let me think there's a sweet deal for your slow go candy. Take it! It's 10 coins! Really? That got me 10 while well, she got 20 from Spring Go? The Shy Guy Spaces basically take one of your candy and gives you money for it. So, oh, come on! It's a fun day to be full of candy. Ha! You also got Slow Go. Slow Go, you basically choose your roll, but you can only roll 1 to 5. They kind of balance the, uh, basically pick your own roll die. So. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Oh, man, it's all the rolls. I've got a fresh batch of candy. Find some for your jungle journey. No. Ah, fuck you then. And another barrel cannon. These will basically throw you to the opposite corner of the level, so I'm not going to do it. This is right near the star, which I better make. Okay, yep. I do like to have the map there to give you, like, directions of how the map flows, so, you know. You know where to go. It's nice to have that instead of having to actually, like, dig through the map to figure out where it leads. That's actually one thing I do like about this game. They make maps make sense. Then again, the boards are... odd in this game, so... sometimes they can be weird. But Why do you get a four? You could have gotten a three. You should have gotten a three. You suck. So stupid. You dumb bitch. There we go. First star. I got it. Quick race with the bridge. Will you trade 20 coins for a star? No! Yes, here you go, 20 coins! I said no! Oh, sorry, I thought it was opposite day today. Are you one of those people that always thinks every day is opposite day? Maybe I am. I'm not going to tell you anything. <laughs> Damn you, freaking ballyhoo. Well, next stop B. The suspense is too much to bear. I think I see it. It's over there. Well, now I do want to take the barrel cannon. Behold, the next star! Collect 20 coins and get that first! Well, works for me. So, yep, standard Mario Party rules for this board. 
pay 20 coins for a star. It moves. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, 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 indeed. Do I risk taking the barrel cannon? Nah. I don't want to go blasting those things. Knowing what I've seen in Donkey Kong Country, those can be a lead to a terrifying ride. All right, because now I have the lead. What a fierce competition. I'm impressed. Let's check the standings. Well, look at this. Looks like the Ouija is the likely winner. Don't say that. You'll jinx me. The way things are going, Peach is sure to lose. So it can be your boost. You all want a good fight, right? Let's see if this evens the odds. What if it odds the evens? Don't even joke about that. So, Peach, take a shot of the dark wheel. I don't need to tell you about the wrist wrap because you are a dumb bitch who won't use it anyway. Oh, no. And there it is. Peach is a nice piece of thrice candy. And there you go, three dice blocks in one. Well, I'm gonna go a long way. Now let's see you all do your best. So, yep, you know, the pity mechanic. Last five turns, or in this mode, basically somebody's one star away from winning. Let's give them a helping hand by letting them shoot throw the dark wheel to try to get a prize. Whether it's candy, or some other boost item of some kind, like coins. I was gonna say, if you got three nines, Although she still got two nines and eight. Oh my god, she's going for the win! Well, the thing is, you still need more money to afford the second star. Well, then again, maybe she knows where she's gonna land. Damn, bitch, you're gonna travel the whole board with that roll! My goodness! She's reached the star victories within reach, even though she's still behind by 12 coins! Yeah, take it! If only the computers would say no. I feel like I have to see a computer do it once, though. Just once. And it was baffling. Anyway, where will the next stop be? The suspense is too much to bear. It's up there. 20 coins, you know the deal? Wow, would have been a brighter path. If she had the money, she would have won. Oh, this game. <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, if I don't sound very enthusiastic about this Mario Party, you know why. Like, I just put it this way. Of all the mainline console Mario Party, so basically not counting all the handheld ones, this is my least favorite Mario Party. Yes, and below the sequels, which I both I think are both better than this one. Shocking, I know. Oh, come on, I got DK again when I can't afford it? Why do they keep doing this to me? Why? Help! No, I'm getting kidnapped by a monkey again! Oh, I wish you were Pauline. Damn it! Great fuzzy fast track! DK will hurry to the storm space! Ah! If only this was helpful. <laughs> hey, look at that! You reached the star! Too bad you don't have enough cash! You peasant! Now Bowser is here! Get fucked! Damn it. Yep, this is my least favorite mainline Mario Party. So basically counting 1 through 10 at Super Mario Party, this is my least favorite. Yes, below 9 and 10, I know. Sounds like frickin' blasphemy. But you know what? I like 9 and 10. So, yeah. Fight me. <laughs> I also put this above 1, despite how archaic 1 is. And Mario Party 4, which I have seemingly fueled my hatred for in the past. I like this one less than that one, too. The motion control of games, the lack of innovative boards, the frickin' bull crap that it is. Just... God. Also, I hear some people say it, it's like the best looking Mario Party. I look at it and think, Ugh? How do you think this Mario Party looks good? Look at it! It's ugly! It just basically took the GameCube Mario Party engine and like modified it a bit. It doesn't even look that good, man. It really doesn't. Hmm. So I guess I would want a one, huh? Force a mini game. Let's do that. Okay, go back to my candy screen. All right, let's go for a one, baby. I could have also tried to get a four so I could screw her other coin counts, but I want to end this game sooner. The sooner, the better. So, yeah. You want to flick the remote for that a little bit before you, uh, yeah. I've got a fresh batch of candy. Buy some for your jungle journey. Okay, fine. My candy canteen sells the best in sweet revenge. Stock up. Oh, sweet revenge? We're having a big bargain sale. This candy is crazy cheap. It's probably gone bad. Please use the candy you want. 
So let's pick some candy. Blow away, turn into a tornado. Everybody caught it, goes back to start. Follow candy, pull reach, each player pass, take 20 coins from each of them. Ooh. Or thrice candy, let's hit three dice blocks, let's take it. You wanna buy some price candy? You're out of money! Don't worry, I have a plan, that's why I rolled the way I did. Well, thank you, come again! Crazy lunatic. Saying a frickin' shy guy wielding a spear at me. You're calling me a lunatic. You have enough coins, you cheapskate! Get the hell out of here! I forgot to read that, damn it. <laughs> it's time for some coins for your mouth is! Get ready to party for a tool mini game! Wait, he doesn't have any money! Well, he's challenging you, that's your fault! Now let's start the minigame wheel! Wow, awesome. I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> I didn't know if I'd be allowed to do it if I didn't have money. Ooh, wing a scare. Okay. More motion control garbage. Well, when it doesn't involve the pointer, it's usually better. Or just random motions. Tilt the wings of your plane as you try to clear the obstacles and reach the finish line first. If you hit an obstacle or a trap, your aircraft will rebound and you'll lose time. So, yep, a lot of mini games, especially those involving motion controls, can be rather simple. I think that's a big reason I hate this Mario Party. Because the mini games are just crap. Because of the force motion controls. No! Now I'm pretty sure I've seen before, and anybody who, well, have seen my Mario Party stuff knows I'm usually a big fan of the mini games. The mini games in particular when it comes to Mario Party, so. Yeah. If you don't do the mini games right, I don't really enjoy it. Okay. Tilt vertically. Oh. Ah! Oh, come on! There are too many obstacles in the way! Oh, crap! Oh, what? I just tilt as I go. Who designed this stupid contraption? I was gonna say, I wonder if that tilted back and forth. If it kept turning, then it would freaking, like, crush my wings! If I had to straighten out or something. Well, there we go. I just see it. Yay, celebration! Really? All we did was just fly planes through this freaking sky city. That's all we did. Well, why don't you get to spin the dark wheel? Hey! Is that wrist strap on tight? Yes. Don't worry. I haven't taken it off. Believe me. Like I said, I like to wear protection, especially for a crappy party like this. Oh, look at you! You landed the big money! Peach must give 20 coins to Luigi! Yes. Well, that's even unfair. It's Mario Party! Nothing's fair! Especially in Love and War, which Mario Party tends to be both. Love and war. <laughs> you love the people you play with, but then it's a war zone against them. It becomes a freaking battlefield of hatred. Pure, pure hatred. Then again, that's one part of the nutshell for you. You love and hate everybody you play with. You hate when somebody gets an edge on you, but, well, I would assume you'd want to play with your friends. Real friendship ender this is. But screw you. I don't care how crappy Bar Party is. I'm going to try my best to win, no matter who my opponent may be. Yes, I love Mario Party that much. Boom, baby! Finally, with the good rolls. Yeah. Until then. Really, you can't let me have enough? Mar Luigi, you have more than enough. I almost called you Mario. Darn you. Yeah. Don't dare call me my last name. That's weird. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Springo! You can use that to basically throw yourself onto the space of an opponent. Or, in this mode, your only opponent. There we go. Time for victory. No! Nah. I showed that off at 7, and it nearly cost me everything. The way this Mario Party is, I am not going to take my chances. Because there's one thing this Mario Party loves, it's luck-based bullcrap. The Jolo Spectacular is over! We have a winner! Luigi got a second star! That's right, folks! This duel belongs to Luigi! Congratulations! Yeah. Oh my god, I finally won a party! Oh, finally! Oh, oh man, guess it's back to my slave dungeon. Oh yeah, I forgot she's got a bunch of slave toads in that basement of hers. She's initiating them. Oh god. <laughs> oh, poor you, Peach. Poor you. Either way, we won! So there we go! Your results have been saved! Keep up the good work! Don't worry, we will! Next time! So, welcome once again, everybody, to Mario Party Star 8 Star Battle Arena. It's basically Solo Cruise with 7, except it's, well, linear. You have to do everything in a row instead of, you know, 
yeah, being able to, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, you can't select the level you want to do. You can't just, like, beat one level to unlock the next and go back to the previous one. Nope, you gotta do everything in a row in one straight shot. At least it saves in between every board, so you can leave it and then come back to it. But still, it is kind of annoying for that regard compared to 7. Then again, that's what I think a lot about this Mario Party. It takes a lot of the annoying things of Mario Party series, keeps them, and adds more things. Freaking motion control gimmicks are probably the worst addition. Hey, if you like this Mario Party, you have problems. Then again, I'm playing it, so I can't really see it like I'm much better. Either way, we're doing it. I wanted to do other Mario parties, but I figured I may as well get this crap one out of the way before we get to the better ones. Well, like, yeah, I think almost every Mario party is better than this. Except for Advance, that one sucks. Top 100 can barely call, be called a party, but more than one in Advance anyway. And Island Tour had interesting ideas, but their execution was usually not great. They also had poorly implemented mini game stacks to gyro controls. Why do they have to force the Mario Party developers to keep throwing gimmicks in these freaking Mario Party games? Just give us the good old feelings of the classic ones. That's why we love Super Mario Party. Hell, I even like the way the Joy-Cons work for those games. Except for the control stick. We already know that sucks. All right, see you guys next time when we get to Battle 2 and battle our next opponent to claim our rights to become the Superstar. Hey, I'm just in it for the candy. You got a real bad sweet tooth, Luigi. Nobody should have that much candy lying around, seriously. That'll go bad within a week.